around YouTube's dorks, dweebs, nerds, whatever you want to call yourself, I am the director and producer of Batman Dark Cities, the new fan series that's out right now, episode one and two. And this video is going to be speaking on what's going on in this channel and what we're going to be doing in this channel. And plus, I definitely want to give y'all some backstory of Batman Dark Cities. So that way y'all all recapped and know exactly what's going on. Alright, so my name is Tyrell T, and I am the Black Flight Gang! So, let's talk about the backstory of Batman Dark Cities. The guy what we're talking about is a whole new guy. It's not Bruce Wayne. It's not the original Batman guy that we know and love. Not Bruce Wayne. What we're talking about is a new guy named William Carter. That's our original uh, man that we actually created. This is no, you'll never find it in the comics. You'll never find anything from anywhere. He was born and raised in Gotham City. No money, no funds, you know, from the slums. And when he grew older, he transferred to Metropolis and he was actually a cop there. And now during this time, we got to remember this is the age of heroes. So we're talking about Flash. Superman, Wonder Woman, all the heroes that we know and love, when he grew up, he was around at that time, in that time frame. Now remember Age of Heroes, that's when I call is when Superman and everybody was around at that time. So he was a cop in Metropolis, along with his friend Mark Angel. Him and Mark Angel were cops for a very long time, good partners with each other. But the only thing was, William Carter decided to transfer back to Gotham City. In order because of the fact that he thought that he could do better and do more justice in Gotham City than he can do in Metropolis. So he moved down back to Gotham City, all right? And the same year, a lot of stuff happened that is not normally, it's not explained in episode one and two, but it will be explained later down. All the heroes, all the heroes that we know and love, like Flash, Superman, Batman, and everything like that, they all vanish and no one knows why. So let me tell you a little bit exactly what happened. Something happened to all the metahumans that we know and love. They're all gone and wiped out. And all the vigilantes that we know and love are either hiding or actually, they unfortunately dead. So during that time, let's go back to William Carter. What's going on with him is that him, his wife, and his child has been kidnapped hostage, unfortunately his wife and son were killed in front of him. So now he is a victim of how bad Gotham City has really hit, have gotten. It's gotten really bad for them. During that time, you know, William Carter lost his way. He was gone. Um, while he was gone, drinking, and he was just off the face of the map, you know what I mean? Uh, Mark Angel, which was his partner in Metropolis, transferred to Gotham. He wanted to be contact with William Carter. He wanted to, you know, reminisce and everything like that, but he couldn't find him, unfortunately. So he was just stuck in Gotham working. That's where the story is at, at the time of William Carter episode one, because episode two, episode two is technically episode one. It's, yeah, it's back five years, and basically uh, episode one is like present time. So present time, William Carter is Batman. And episode two, it's the buildup of becoming Batman. From there, it's all up to you guys to watch, subscribe, like, comment. I hope I didn't lose you in that. Where are we trying to go with this um, series? Honestly, I'm willing to create my own universe in these stories. My, my own, all original cast, all original characters. Not Superman, Flash, the stuff that we know, but different people like Batman is William Carter. It's not Bruce Wayne. You got, I wanted to do a Catwoman, and it's not really Catwoman, it's something else. We have, I don't know if you've seen the posters or anything like that, but we actually have Joker, and it's not really Joker. It's, his name is Jester Black. And then you have uh, Black Mask, and Black Mask is not the original Black Mask, that's his son. So, Basically, everything is being passed down the torch. That was the idea of everything. Scarecrow, not Scarecrow, Dr. Fear, and stuff like that. So, that's exactly what's going on. Everything's passed down the torch. And now we have new villains, we have new heroes, we have everything new. It's an all-new clean slate. And 
honestly, if I want to be honest with myself, um, I'm definitely going to add some of the heroes that were from the Age of Heroes. I'm going to, I think I'm going to add certain heroes here and there to jump in and mentor William Carter and mentor uh, Mark Angel or something like that in order to keep the story spiced up and there's a lot of plot twists, there's a lot of things that are going on that I know that you guys are going to love. You guys are going to love it. I already know you are because me and my cast, we love it too. <laughs> we love watching it, we love filming it, and we love acting. It, it's, a great, it's a great opportunity to give y'all and we're not, it's a non-profit, it's definitely a non-profit situation. It's not part of DC Comics or anything. It's really coming from the hearts of how much we love Batman. Let's talk about the channel. What we're gonna do in this channel, honestly, is uh, it's a lot. I really wanna start doing reviews. I definitely wanna start doing reviews. Um, I definitely gonna, obviously we're gonna do the Batman web series and everything like that. And if I can actually cooperate, cooperate with other um, people that are doing this, uh, we can actually talk about their films and stuff like that and actually what they're doing. I can do reviews on that. Um, I definitely, my upcoming review right now is definitely gonna be Aquaman. I just came from the movies to see that. That was, it was crazy. Um, I'm not gonna get into it because I really wanna do a review on it. Um, definitely gonna be talking about Titans. I know it's old, but I, I think I think you guys would want to know my opinion on Titan. Um, I, Young Justice actually just dropped. Super excited about that because I'm a big fan of Young Justice, and definitely gonna do that. As you know, as you can tell, I'm a I'm a freaking DC fan. I love DC. I love Marvel too. Marvel's Marvel's great. There's nothing wrong with Marvel. <laughs> they're they're cool. They're awesome. Spider Man and everything like that. I mean, I might just talk about them sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't I don't criticize. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not a wagon hopper. I'm definitely not a wagon hopper. And before y'all even hit that subscribe button, let me just let y'all know. Yes, I know DC movies have been shit. I'm not one of those people that are gonna sit here and be like, but they do this. Cut it. Listen, Justice League was horrible. It was a terrible movie. I'm sorry. But I'll fucking watch it because I love to see Superman beat the hell out of everybody. So I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> um, I'm very honest on when it comes to my superhero stuff. I'm not one of those analyzed, I read every single comic and stuff like that. And I'm not just one of those guys that just watch the movies and be cool with that. I personally am the, I'm right in the middle, to be honest with you. I have I have friends, I have family that actually dig deep into Batman, and hopefully we can actually even talk to them that actually read the Batman comic shadows to my cousin. You, know, you the man, you the man. There's actually, let me just say this. I have a cousin right now that is phenomenal. He's a boxer right now. He, he actually has a fight on Wednesday. Um, he really trains to be Batman. Like he is, he's phenomenal. He's actually one of the guys that inspired me to work out as you can see. I'm a big buff kid. Like, I'm okay, I still got, still got, yeah. I still got a gut, but whatever. I'm a beast, I'm a beast. But anyway, my cousin, he's a monster and I, I call him the true Batman. And he inspired me to work out and actually inspired me to do this film uh, web series of Batman. It really came from him and us talking about stuff and boom, here you go, we got a web series, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Um, but otherwise than that, man, welcome to the web series, welcome to the channel. Just hit that like and subscribe button and even hit the notification button so whenever we drop a video, you'll know it firsthand. I honestly, I'm prepared and I cannot wait to keep doing reviews and stuff like that and keep y'all entertained. I just, I just can't wait and I can't wait for episode 3 to drop and episode 3 should be dropping at, I want to say the end of February, beginning of March. I think, I think that'll be, I think that'll be done. Oh, the yelling, the yelling. Look, uh, they call me the Black Viking. Right? I, they call me Bane at work. They call me Bane or Batman, all right? Because I'm so in tune of working and trying to become Bane. You know what I'm saying? That's, a, that's how you see how big I am. Bane is actually, for me, just to talk about myself, Bane is actually a motivation for me. Not the venom juicing thing. That's not my partake thing, but 
I definitely, if you want to consider my favorite villain of all time in DC Universe, it has to be Bane. Bane is that Batman. He was the first one to physically harm Batman, and that's exactly why, you know, I knew that's the guy I need to be, you know. <laughs> That's the guy that I like, you know what I mean? Uh, Batman Dark Risings, when that came out, a lot of his quotes, you know, definitely inspired me as well. I know every quote on that. Oh, you think darkness is your ally? You merely adopted the dark. I can't really do the voice, but you get what I'm saying. He was a very big motivational thing. I honestly just want to say thank you. If you already subscribed, Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for following us this long. Um, we're we're going hard. We're we're definitely doing what we're we're here to be doing. You know what I'm saying? Um, but honestly, on the real, without the jokes, I just want to thank y'all so far. I, we have a few subscribers right now, and I always remember y'all. Just leave a, com a comment. Say what's up to us. Doesn't matter. You know, we all go on there. So. You could talk to the actor Batman, or you could talk to me. You could talk to, you talk to anybody. You talk to Joker. You talk to anybody, and um, we would really appreciate it. So you know, you can hit us up on there. You can definitely hit us up on Facebook. It's Batman Dark City. It's the fan page. Just hit that like, and then we're actually on Instagram, Batman underscore Dark underscore Cities. I'm not gonna say that. You know what I'm saying? And you can follow us there. We appreciate. We definitely appreciate Batman and. Um, we are at this moment. We are on Batman stuff. You see me? I'm wearing the shirt, and uh, we actually we might go to Comic Con. We can, you probably gonna see us in Comic Con. One of the actors probably dressed up as Batman. Probably pass out the flyer so you guys could know exactly what we're doing. There's gonna be a lot of stuff upcoming, so just stay tuned. I don't know. I think that's it. I think I said everything. I don't know. I think we're good. Hopefully. Uh, uh, yo, I get so happy when I finish these videos, bro. Cause like, like it, I'm just now getting used to it. Cause now I feel like I'm talking to a crowd. Like I'm just looking at a camera right now, and the camera's looking at me, and I'm like, I'm looking at it. Like, what up, bro? What up? You know what I'm saying? But like, you know, it, I'm getting used to it. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely getting used to it. So I just want to say thank you uh, for following us and subscribing, and I see you on the screen. Suppose we go on Netflix, bro. Like, suppose we hit Netflix, bro. Like, how dope would that be if we hit Netflix? Like, our original stuff hit Netflix, and then y'all could just see us on there? That would be crazy. That would be, that would be pretty live.